Man, this is lifestyles of the poor and unfucking fortunate. But I tell you what, but 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 bitch, we got views. <laughs> It's uh, I got some shit to say to podcast, man. We back because we don't stop. Chat on TV in the building. Give them a round of applause. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, on fucking Strug. God man. damn it. Strug is fucking here. Struggle Jennings. In the I building. chased his ass down. I used man. every fucking source I had. And he's finally here. I just had to get his attention, really. Yeah, man. He's a busy guy. Struggles in the I would have came a lot sooner had yeah. I known. Shout out, Strug. Straight up. Oh, we're drinking out another David one already? Manning for, yeah, well, Shout I'm, out to David Manning for yeah, building this, the bridge. This, y'all are going to learn quick. Uh, <laughs> we yeah. just did one before the cameras cut on. I used to say on the podcast, I don't drink at all. And now <laughs> it seems like every fucking episode we're drinking. <laughs> I wish they made them. Y'all got me on this white girl fucking fireball. White girl wasted. Nice. Yeah. We need to call this one. Uh, oh, Chad, man. I hope you're ready to drive me to Hendersonville. Bro. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We'll get My you girl there, will be Stroke. here soon. We can, she can take us. We'll yeah. get you there, Stroke. Uh, I wish they made like the top of these things like bigger, so they just it seems like it takes forever just to pour in your yeah. mouth. Uh, yeah, there's rock stars here for sure. There's a rock star here. He's definitely yeah. that. Sure. Strug just got home from a bender of a road journey, right? Oh yeah. Absolutely. I mean, let's let's get into we the did, stats uh, real quick. Yeah, we finally got back on the road. I guess into April, first of May. How'd that feel? Uh, incredible, man. Right. Like, we did some shows during the um, bullshit, but uh, it felt good to get back out, be able to connect with the fans, shake their hands, see them, give them live music. Um, it was a little rocky when we first went out because, you know, I'm anti-mask, anti-fucking. For sure. Uh, I'm not anti-anything. I'm just anti, you know, you're not going to tell me what the fuck to do. Right. You're not going to tell Enough me what said. I have to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I believe in freedom. So, um, it was a little rough at first, but it, you know, we only had a couple of situations. I only had to cancel one show all year out of 128. That's um, not bad at all, though. Especially during the times. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. And I walked in with a check and paid every employee in there because it was Boom. a decision I was making. You hiring was a truck? They, was they not going to work for you? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to give me a job. Were they? Were, were looks they? like you got a good one, man. <laughs> I work Probably. a lot, bro. Yeah. This, is, this isn't this is my job. This is this is my. It's trying to be. We're yeah. trying to get it there. Trying to get there. Yeah. Sorry. What were we saying? But you, was, you were saying that you only had canceled one show. And it was, was it because they were on some BS with the mask or the mandates yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah, so we pulled into Kansas City. I had told them a week ahead of time that I wasn't going to do it if it was a mask mandate. Um, but then I kind of, you know, I kind of was like, you know what? There's 500 tickets sold. I don't want to let the fans down. Yep. So I'm going to go. We pull up. It's like 95 degrees. Yep. My son was unloading. You know, he's 350 pounds. The other guy that I had doing merch and unloading, he was 300-something pounds. Now, take in mind, this is a week after our bus got hit by a drunk driver, and I lost half my crew, mm. you know, the hospital, and um, some of them had to go home and just, you know, uh, re up. recoup and yeah. shit. Yeah. And um, so I've already had a crazy-ass fucking journey. We pull in, and they're trying to make my loaders wear masks to load shit into an empty building. I remember hearing about this was in July, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right before tailgates and tall boys because I remember this. Go ahead. <laughs> I yeah. just heard the frustration in yeah. Strug's voice as he well, tried well, to. I tell remember us all this because Jelly told me about it. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, bro, they're gonna pass out. Well, so yeah. I walk in and the lady's like, "You don't have a mask on." I was like, "Yeah, I don't wear them." She was like, "Well, you have to have a mask." I was like, "Well, I'm not gonna wear one." Um, I was like, "Look, I'm just here to talk to you because I won't be back in the building till I go on stage." Which you said I didn't have to have a mask on on stage. I was like, "What is the?" What is, like, I know that Kansas City has, like, this city mandate, but how bad are y'all enforcing it? She said, oh, we've hired 10 extra people to watch your fans. If they pull it down longer than this to take a drink and pull it back up, they're kicked out of the show. Oh, that's ridiculous. Bro. I said, well, we got to cancel. Yeah, because bro. there's, you have 500 drunk Struggle Jennings fans in a room. They're not keeping those fucking masks on. No, Hell no. They're, they're here to see you. Yeah. I've got two openers. Y'all have got probably 15 local openers. By the time I go on stage, they're going to be drunk, and it's going to be a riot. So, yeah, man. you know, just for the fans, for the venue, for my name, everything, I said, you know what? I got to take a stand on this. I'm not going to do it. That's real, though. Yeah. Super real. It's too real, though. And it's great to hear it come straight from you. Yeah. Because yeah, that, that, that. 
I remember when that happened because I, I almost it feels like that was right before tailgates and tall boys. Yeah. Or 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 Anderson, South Carolina, with that first jelly shot. I feel like that's when that was. I heard about that. On, yeah. That's crazy. So then Tommy Vex called me right yeah. after I posted, you know, uh, my statement about it, which I, you know, I, I made sure that everybody knew it wasn't the venue's fault, um, that it was just something that I believed in and I was going to stand on. And uh, Tommy Vex called me and was like, hey, man, I want to do a tour. No mandates. Like, we'll only go to places that are not going to um, require the – Yeah you know, the mask or the vaccine right, right. or a COVID test. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, let's fucking do it. You know, let's go give music to people that might not be able to because of their beliefs. You know, there's a lot of yeah. people that don't believe, um, you know, in traditional medicine or they, you know, they might not really, you know, they have doubts about the vaccine or about masks mm. yeah. and they can't go into normal venues yeah. you know, and watch live music. So let's go give them that. I uh, I just bought tickets to a show in April 2022. It's actually on 420. Wow. And uh, it is the first event that I've purchased tickets for that required a vaccine mandate. Is it the, required is the it, vaccination card. Is it the Mike show? It is. Yeah. Shout out Mike. It's at Marathon it's, Marathon Music Works. That's crazy. Are they really enforcing that at Marathon? See, that see that's uh you would be the guy I'd ask. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cuz yeah, you think so. hell, the show you just I think it's at the artist's discretion. To a degree, it is because when who's the artist, <laughs> right? When Jelly announced the the uh, Opry show, yeah. yeah, with the full set and all that kind of shit, I work for a company that does like wide format printing signs and that kind of shit, and we had just printed the Opry signs that say mask required, blah blah, all that shit. Yeah, yeah. so it was like a question out in air, like Do we got to wear that shit at Jelly show. And it seemed like it wasn't until like two or three days before where yeah, we finally got work, that. we did not. No, same with the rhyming. <laughs> no test, no vaccination yeah. cards, no none of that shit. And okay. it's weird to me that I just finally got that first speed bump. And it's for it's for twenty twenty two in it's, April. It's, it's you know what I'm saying? Stuff. It's kinda weird. It's but, crazy, yeah. yeah. So like the t <clears throat> if like people there not for sure out there, but you did back to back tours, correct? Yeah, I did three back to back tours this year. Struggle is about that grind. Yeah, dude. there wasn't there. So was there any breaks between? So like, say, because I know Jelly said y'all used to do stuff back in the day. Y'all do a Waylon and Willie backed right up against a, a, one of y'all solo tours. Mm -hmm. Did you have any space of, of break between, like a couple of days, or was it just? Uh, yeah, no, we had. I had about a month in between each tour, which uh, is that plenty, just enough, or not enough? I would think you need at least a week or two to. Decompress from being out there. Would yeah, you know? but I haven't. You know what? I haven't decompressed yet. I'm thinking about doing it. Um, 2023. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I decompressed in 2023. Right. <laughs> no. Uh, my grandma just actually sent me a message the other day. She was like, "Baby, you put in a lot of work these last couple of years. Take a little break." The, if she sees it. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. she sees. You know, she's been touring her whole life, so yeah, she sees it. And I'm just like, Mama, or Grandma, because she said, uh, she said just. Just sit back, take a little break, and let God do His work. I said, mm. baby, I don't think God ready for me to take a break yet. Mm. He yeah. keeps throwing stuff in my in, in my face and, and situations. Yeah. Doors keep opening, um, you know. Keep going, keep going. But yeah, we we take a, a month in between. This time we're gonna get two months in between the next tour. Good for you. But yeah. we're, you know, when I say we're taking a break, we're that's not that's that just means tour. back to the studio. Yeah, we're 10, yeah. 12 hours in the studio a day. <laughs> exactly. So you're going, you're breaking from this, but you're. A hundred miles an hour in this, yeah. basically. Yeah, because yeah. I'm still, you know, me and Scat, Scatter Brains is on the tour with me shout as my DJ. Shout out, Scat. Yeah, shout out. Uh, he just got his first house, bro. I'll tell y'all about that later. It's fucking amazing. But tell him pull up. He can tell us about it. Yeah, yeah for sure. Scat yeah. can pull up. Next yeah. time you come through, man, yeah, you can come with him. No, nah, for sure. Y'all ought to get him on here because he's got, he's got a. I'll message him right now. Don't, yeah, don't. He's, he's yeah, got yeah. an incredible don't story. Don't test yeah, yeah, me, Strug. Yeah. Um, Keep going. So. We co-produce all the other artists, and right. you know I co-write. So you know we got Caitlin Curtis's album, JD uh, Huggins' new album, uh, Brianna's new album, which we're just getting started on, which is crazy. Uh, yeah, we dropped Bonnie Stewart's album. <clears throat> so with all the different artists, plus I got two albums in the pipeline. So just you know trying to make sure that we got enough content to really blast 2022 the way we did 2021 but even on a higher level you know mm. yeah well and the thing is too man like what people may not understand about you is that 
in addition to doing those tours like that, dog, and to doing the amount of music you do, you run a label too. Yeah. And you've got like the artists that you just named. You you said you you produce them and you co-write and you do all that. So there's that's a, that's a side of you I no, don't know. There's no yeah. break. I mean, you're just you're not doing like I said. You're taking stuff out of this basket and you're putting it in this one. Yeah. basically. No, yeah. yeah, and we got a merch company. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll be getting it too, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Good looking shit, like good merch, like it. Yeah, I yeah. see that. Sh- shouts I out s- to Bernie, man. My my daughter Brianna's boyfriend, Bernie. Uh, he runs seventy five percent of that, and uh, that's dope. Inside that's baseball, not, yeah, yeah, man, that's man. cool. He's man. he's fucking awesome. I, I couldn't ask for a better guy to be with my daughter. Like he's a hard worker. He will fucking bust somebody's shit over Brianna. Yeah. You know, like he has no no. This no, is. Great. Keep going. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, that's, that's I got dope, three man. daughters, bro. Like, oh, I need yeah. to hear this. Oh, yeah, man. for sure. Man, yeah. It, yeah, it's tough, too. You know? uh, yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. <clears throat> Definitely Especially that. I know you got one that's be 16. Mm-hmm. Is that yeah, your I oldest? Do. It is. Yeah. I have a one-year-old, a 10-year-old, and a 16-year-old. Yeah. So. Okay, you got long, long <laughs> yeah, I'm super confused, man. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. Just the cards I was dealt. Yeah, I got 12, 13, 16, and 22, so. Yeah. Brent's mm. 22 now. And I was curious. Yeah. Yeah, Sounds about right, though. Yeah. yeah, she was 16 when I came home. I'll be home uh, six years in January. So, bro, let's talk about let's talk about that for a second. When you yeah. came when you came home, was it 2015? Did 2016, you 2016 January. January 2016? When you came home, when did you go in? Let's yeah. start there. 2011. Okay. Okay. Then got out 2016. Chad, did you know Strug before 2011? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We, yeah, just from the from the Jelly stuff and yeah, yeah. That we did we did a song together. Me him and Jelly did a song together. Yeah. Yeah. So we, I've I've known of Strug like, yeah. but then when when you came home, you had a completely different. Obviously, mindset on everything. You went in. Yeah. You looked completely different. You, yeah. Your outlook was completely different. Obviously. Yep. Yeah. You know. Um, Million percent stroke. Yeah. yeah. I, I had. Uh, I knew you before. Like I've known you since like oh three oh four yeah. probably oh three yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the first time I heard you on the stroke. Uh, would the always. Yeah. Uh, I give everybody flowers for their like. The way they accepted me along my journey, yeah. man. Yeah, for and sure. And Strug has always been like the Squinch, what the fuck you doing? Come here, man. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? That's my guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh but when you came home, dog, you were a different struggle. Oh, for you sure. know, in the best way I for could sure. describe. Yeah. yeah, no possible. Like all positive shit, all good energy. Like when are you gonna write a book? Oh, it's coming. You bro. need to, dude. It's coming. You're still you writing should, that story, though, dog. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. but you shouldn't yeah. stop. You should you should start sure. writing it on this right here. Yeah, yeah, yep. yep. just you a journal. Story for sure. That way, right. even when it's when you when you're ready for it, it's going to be that much more easier. And you it, sure. and I hope along your rock star journey, you remember the time my dumb ass was sitting on this little <laughs> ass podcast <laughs> telling you about this because Strug, your your story is different yeah, than a lot of these motherfuckers out here. I've heard you rap for 20 years, bro. Yeah. No, for sure. I've heard you spit some of the realest shit that most of these cats wish they could say. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've seen you do your bid. I've seen you do shit. I've, I've seen you. Stroke had a music video from jail. Yeah. Remember that shit? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tried to find it. I hate to even bring it up and not be able to find it. But it's black curtains. Yeah. No, 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 listen. I had something. Mm-hmm. When Stroke was down, I, uh, I don't know. You had some campaign going, or the label did, or something, where you could, you yeah. could donate some money or something, bro. Put some money on Strug's books, and he's gonna he's gonna write you a personal letter. So, what's funny is I I did this because that's the homie. You know what I'm saying? Like I of course, and Strug wrote me a personal letter, and let me tell y'all how funny it was that he didn't know my government name. Oh, so that's so great. I wish I ha- I wanted to find it, bro, yeah. because it says. It, Hey Josh, that's yeah. my government name, Josh. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, dude, Strug did not know that this hey, is Squints no. on the other <laughs> end, dude, because it would be a different vibe oh, right now. <laughs> okay, I that's see what you so mean, good. though. Uh, that's dope, man. But I remember it, and I held it tight, like I, I had it yeah, close cool, for man. a that's while, really cool. dude, and it, it really upset me. I think it's in a Bible, and I just can't find the Bible. But I had it where it could just stay flat because it meant something to me, dog. Because yeah, uh, yeah man, to see how you wrote that to Josh and didn't know who Josh was. Yeah. But you knew what Josh went through to get that get that to you and that you yeah. owed him that letter. It helped it, y'all helped each other out with that. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah. The That's real though. The time that we we didn't have struggle was a struggle. Bro, I'll tell you this right now. And the same goes with Jelly. Like we talked about with Jelly. Ten or twelve years ago, just the other day I had a free struggle post. 
Yeah. Well, bro, like the people, a lot of people now, like nowadays, 2021, they don't know struggle nope. like Mm-mm. back 2005 nope. to 2010. Show sure don't. It's dog. just the struggle. You know, it's the same with yeah. Jelly. So it's like you're, you're getting. That's Love what's that. so dope to see the growth, man. Like of you over the years, like doing the, the street the street rapping, you was so cold at that. Mm-hmm. But to be able to do that, and you could still go back and do that if you wanted to, to do what you're doing now, bro. Yeah, it's just I a, can't. Like, so Alex. here's where I battle back and forth. Like, uh, and you'll hear it, it, it touches face in um, The Widow's Son and then in Troubadour, Troubled Souls. It's like, I'll dive back in. Like, like Widow's Son, I still think is one of my best albums. Like, I'm snapping yeah. on that album. Yeah, um, flex major fucker. I loved it. I, Snapping. I agree, but the uh, confidence, I love it. But I just love looking but it over flew and seeing over that new fan base's head. Yeah, um, but I, it was that was like my testament to remind these motherfuckers that I'm a rapper. No, mm-hmm. for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they get caught up in like some this country rap box, yeah. which I guess. But it's because, easy to form, bro. Yeah. Let, yeah. let me speak from the consumer. As I look across here, it's struggle. Yeah, I've already complimented your jewelry off camera. Yeah, your swag. Struggle's a big guy. Yeah. I knew Struggle when he had hair down to his belly button. Yep. Braided up. Gangster like, like to the, the st- fucking core. The story it, Lil White told when, when he said he, the first time he met White. you, he was scared to death because you said, you stole my grandparents' song <sighs> about, yeah. about good yeah. old boys. Yeah. And he said, he was here last night, bro. And he talked yeah, he was he here last in night. the interview. He said, the first time I met Strug, I'll never forget it. Because I said, he, he said that, and I said, I don't want no problems. <laughs> but, yeah, go ahead. But, yeah, yeah. I love Patrick. Yeah, um, man. Patrick, I wanted to say it on. <laughs> He's a sweet guy. No, dude, yeah. <laughs> I swear, yesterday I wanted to say Mr. and say it so bad, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I didn't. I caught myself every time. Shout out to White, yeah, though, man. He pulled White, up man. and literally gave me the jacket off his back because I yeah, complimented dude. on it He was multiple like, man, times. you can have it. Yeah, that's yeah. Dope. I love but White, yeah, man. Dude, but, but, like, going back to what you were saying, like, I was just saying from a standpoint of, if you wanted to, you could still do that. You just don't. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just have. I have to. I have. You know. I have to be honest. I feel like I've always, since day one, been honest with my music. When I was rapping about the street shit, it's because I was engulfed in the street shit, and so now <laughs> absolutely engulfed. Yeah, yeah. engulfed. Yeah. Um, so now, even when I t- dabble back into it, mm-hmm. I still have to tie in the truth. I still have to tie in the sure. reality. Yeah. You know, because that shit got me prison. That shit killed half my homies. That shit s- still has me, uh, you know, pulling up to cars 10 feet behind them, not stopping on somebody's bumper at the red light in case somebody hops out and starts shooting. Yep. I can mm. pull off. Like, yep. I, every step I still take yep. reflects the the scars that I wear from the past. Yeah. Um, even though I don't let my past define me, God you know, it's damn. still... Yeah. Do you hear this guy yeah, talk? He's dropping dude? gems, dog. Bro, you I swear to God, Strug, like you you gems. have a different type of soul, bro. You no, really you do. do. You're yeah. and you've been through you've been through enough to where you know it's genuine. And yeah, I can like I can embrace it like a goddamn movie, bro. I'm lucky enough to know Strug. But realization, my everybody knows my mother lives with us, right? Yeah. She she's She's grown, bro. She's on yeah. disability. But she yeah. helps us out around the house tremendously. Oh, sure. Like, yeah, it's yeah. a blessing to have my mother in our home. Oh, God. Yeah. I wish I could have my mom in my home. Yeah. But, bro, she when I drive my when I told crazy. her who the fuck you were related to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Like, it was like a different discussion. <laughs> and then, come here, mama. Yeah, mama. Come here, mama. Yeah, mama. <laughs> uh, but it's a different discussion when I take yeah. it that yeah. that angle. Yeah. yeah. But I, just, I love Struggle Jennings. The way, the way Struggle carries hey, mama, itself. How you doing? <laughs> This is my mother. Uh, Mom, walk around here and say hello to Struggle real quick. <laughs> and then then go away. It's weird that you're even in here. <laughs> that's, that's all I ever get is go away. That's not true. I said, one of these days I'm a big bride instead of bride Oh, dude, Struggle, you got it easy, bro. When Jelly came through last time. Yeah, dude. He had the, he had the one-on-one close the door shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, my mom made him. <laughs> my mom's a real one, dude. Yeah, for sure. Definitely <laughs> is, man. That's, all re- mama, that's, that's, that's the only spouse. reason. That's the only reason she yeah. stay here. Yeah, she's sure. a real one. She's yeah. a real one. <laughs> but I'm like, Mom, I finally got Strug. Strug's fucking coming through. I need you to watch the baby. The Strug's coming through. And she's like, who? And I said, he's he's fucking Waylon Jennings' grandson. And she's like, oh, okay. And, dude, she's been out here like she vacuumed. I didn't yeah. have to ask you to vacuum. It does look nice. Bro, yeah, for sure. She had it looking right in But she was like lingering. Around. She was looking for, ask Alex. She was looking for shit to get into. Yeah. Based off that. Yeah. But the way you... 
it's like you hold this legacy in you, bro. No, for sure, dude. And that's what I'm leading to. When I, like, stopped you mid-tracks, and, the, like, do you hear the way this guy's talking? Because you have something in you, dog, and it's not fabricated. It's no, really no, not. No. Like, the dude no. is like a, I don't know, man. It's not You're a different He's vibe, He's a troubadour bro, for troubled souls, bro. That's exactly what he is. And when he said that exactly is when is, exactly dog. when I stopped him. Yeah, pass him out. Let's go. Is there any more now? But, uh. Three more over here too. I got it. <laughs> yeah, I take that one. Uh, like I was saying, it's, I don't know, dude. It's just like you're you're built different, bro. Well, yeah, you know. No. Shout out, moms, man. Uh, so much, that's the first time my moms have stepped in in the room while we're recording. That's oh, awesome. That's that was there. awesome to catch too. Yeah, seriously. Uh, she that's only cool. loves you because you're wearing Jenny's grandson. Yeah. Oh, so I, get, I get that a lot. I, I figured you go nuts over his jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, but all the turquoise he has on, I figured you'd go nuts over that. Well, yeah, I, I was thinking She's from Texas and all that <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, trust me. Yeah, when I, I, I was from the, the, uh, how you don't got a mic, they can't hear you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome, man. <laughs> I love you, mama. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, I. I, I yeah, that's right. Dope. That was really. She's, dope, she's a real one, man. Uh, she's such a real one. But when I was, you know, single mom type shit, and it was just me and my moms, and and yeah, I grew up in a single mother home too. But she was a she was a rock star, dog. Yeah. Like she was at she'd be at the bar like kicking it, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. line dancing and and men chasing her all around oh, the shit, yeah. and you know, it's a it's a long story after that. Yeah, no, for sure. But uh, y'all got them. Yeah, we're blessed to have her here. But in reference to how you talk and how much I love to hear you speak, I appreciate you that. need to write a fucking book. Yeah, I'm going to. And then self-audio that bitch. Yeah. But don't put it out for, <laughs> like, don't do it until it's, until it makes the yeah, most sense. Ready. The you know, most sure. sense. Like, you could write this bitch for 10 years. Yeah. Because your story for the past 10 years that people don't even fucking, some people oh, don't even know that shit, bro. They yeah, catch, bro. they catch your wave. Yeah. Because of the, the music or, yeah. I don't know, man. Out of all the people I've known for as long as I've known them, Strug's built different. And it's not just because he did fucking time. Yeah, it's because I don't know, the time man. It helped mold me and it helped help me elevate, you know. But it uh, kept you gangster, dog. Yeah, it kept you kept evolved. Me you got grown. Yep. But them tattoos didn't go away, dog. Hell no, they did. Hell no, <laughs> dude. <laughs> the bullet, hey, hole, bullet hole still right? when it rains. Hey, <laughs> shout out to Stroke, bro. When that motherfucker oh. came home with them tats on his neck, though, <laughs> I said, bro, that motherfucker's gangster for real, dog. <laughs> and that was probably about the time I met you, like oh four. I don't know how long yep. you had them. Yeah, but uh. I don't know, man. I just I love everything about Struggle Jennings' character. From the way you the way you carry your brand and shit, mm-hmm. you there's no you don't feel obligated to be involved with different things to stay relevant. Yeah, like no. you make your own lane. You yeah. You, I've you, even I've even had to back back off of like certain things because I, you know that's one thing that I'm afraid of. I'm you don't want to mix of. the brands up. No, nah, man. Because my my message is, look, man. Doesn't matter what the fuck you're going through, what you've been through. Mm-hmm. Prison, drug abuse, yeah. you know, whatever it is, you can overcome that shit. You can. You yeah. can. Absolutely. Every correct. fucking person can. Yeah. And I don't want anybody to get caught up in my political beliefs. You know, I'm, I'm very spiritual, but I don't want them to get caught up in my religious beliefs. I, I'd love for all of them to find the same path that I found mm-hmm. religiously. But, you know, I don't want somebody that's, you know, maybe a Muslim, but is struggling with drug addiction to not listen or catch my message because we don't see eye to eye on one thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I hate being boxed in, you yeah. know, uh, I don't want to, I, I refuse to be boxed in. So keeping that brand and, and really all it, all it boils down to is just be my fucking self. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not going to cry about a bunch of shit. I can't fix. Uh, I'm not going to yeah. post memes all day. Yeah, You don't have to, you know bro. What I mean, like uh, dude. I'm just going to give you my story. And uh, hopefully you find inspiration. I'm waiting on the book, bro. Hard bound fucking. <clears throat> yeah. I'm telling you, dog. This motherfucker's it's story. It's think about the stories he tell from the time we lost him. That's a yeah, six man. year stretch. Six, yeah. right? Yeah. Six. Bro, think, think about of, the stories before that, though. Yeah. Exactly. You bro. know what I'm saying? Like, a, bro, I'm telling like you, Like the dog, nation story. The bro. first time I saw this man right here, dog, you wouldn't approach him. I promise you that. I can tell you the first time I saw him, and it was when I was uh, bringing Jelly Roll around to different places in the nations and we yeah. pulled up to a spot in the nation oh that was jelly catching up you were doing that the was when up jelly runs. first got out yeah, yeah. the catch up runs. you gotta take me see struggle yeah that's exactly what that's the first time i met him that's when everybody was wearing white tees and it was yeah, yeah. 
Tall tees. Yeah, the nations was a different place back then, bro. They were but, like, why'd y'all wear them long ass tees? Because we had fucking big ass guns. <laughs> <laughs> they right. were legal to carry back then. Yeah. They, they were they were with the shit, bro. <laughs> For sure, Strug was a different a different guy back then. But I, even Jelly was though. I mean, yeah. y'all y'all were different characters no, back sure. then, and, that, and that's what it's supposed to be. You know, I get people all the time like, "Oh, you forgot where you came from?" No, I just I oh, bro, exactly you grew the fuck from, up, and I'm not going back. You Hell know what no. I mean? It's the same thing mm-hmm. that Jelly struggles with, like with fans. Like, and I, I get it. People <laughs> like a certain era, and there's probably people that are fans of you that probably say. They wish you would do the stuff that you used to do, yeah. Because that's how they but know. If they you. really listen, and and they've been listening that long. If they haven't evolved the same way my music are, mm-hmm. they need to listen deeper. Right, exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because like, okay, yeah, we were all we were soundtrack to an indictment in 08. Probably well, you know, that. we that's what I was just talking about. Yeah. Yeah. This is like, great. <laughs> like, and but now. We have evolved, and if you're not evolving with the music and you're not changing your life and you're becoming better and, and gravitating towards this music as and this story as it grows, yeah. then you're not growing. You need to listen right. a little. You need Go back and listen to the other shit. Well, yeah, and it's still yeah, there. Like, like, like yeah. me and Jelly said, Straight it's up. still there if you want to go back and, and check it out whenever. It's not like it's not available. We're just not going to be making – you're just not going to be making that now because you're different now. Yeah, you know what I mean. And but really, that, the music's way better. I mean, back then, yeah, we were sure. Sure. perfect. I was about to say it. Yeah, the the music, obviously, bro. You had a number one record. Yeah, shout yeah. out Stroke. Yeah, number sure. one fucking record you know, in the I country. Was, I was just thinking about it. Let's uh, talk about I, that. Flex, we, go. We got the analytics. This flex last hard. Week. Stroke, get them. We stayed in the top five Ooh. between albums and and singles. We stayed in the top five on iTunes for twenty one weeks out of fifty two this year. That's crazy, bro. 21 out of 52. Let's talk Top about five. Like, give yeah. me a fucking break. Bro. Let's talk about that yeah. single. You want to talk about how that came about? Like, yeah. what, like the whole process of that? So, we're in the middle of 2020. We're at the beginning of 2020, and all this shit's hitting the fan. Nobody knows what's going on. You know, we're hearing all this shit, and we're getting all these different perspectives. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, stroke hit them where it hurt. One, well, yeah. Woo! One thing that I've always been able to do is decipher right from wrong. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, so I'm in there and I'm giving this speech. We're in the studio recording and I'm giving this fucking speech. I'm passionate. I done saw some shit online that's done pissed me off. And I'm talking and, you know, Caitlin Curtis is a 26-year-old single mother from Murfreesboro, well, born and raised. Ra- she stays out here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what's yeah. up. Mel's yeah. a fan. I know that. Mel. Yeah. She, yeah. she was my, born, my lady's a big fan. born on, in uh, New England up in Massachusetts. But raised in Murfreesboro. And uh, so, you know, she's kind of, she doesn't really know what to think of all the different Mm -hmm. political things and the the COVID and all this shit going Mm -hmm. on. And, um, but she's listening and she's absorbing what I'm saying. And it's not hard. Like anything that I say or I believe in, I don't believe in it. I'm a street guy, so I don't believe in it till I've seen enough proof. Mm-hmm. To yeah. believe in it. To speak so on if it. If I yeah. can speak on it, mm-hmm. I believe it. And if I believe it, I can speak on it. So I'm I'm giving this like rant in the studio. <clears throat> and the next day she hits me with a voice note and she's like, Man, you were what, shit all stuck that with shit her. you were saying yeah. yesterday. Yeah. She was like, I wrote this hook. And uh she sends me the voice note and I'm like, Oh, this is this And is, that was it? That's the record? That's the record. I was, oh, I was like, man, yeah. I was like, this is it. Went in the neck. When it, we let it sit for about a week or two because I was in the process of recording. Yeah, and um, got back in, and sharpened it up. Yeah, sharpened it up. Fuck, laid those verses, crazy. and we dropped it, and it did so good. Like it, the record took off. The video was doing great. Thought it was one of our biggest records, and we just moved on and started doing other stuff. Nine months later, it became you know the, an anthem, and it went viral on TikTok. Number one, yeah. and she she got her ass on TikTok and worked it. You know yep, what I mean? That's where it's at, bro. Uh, yeah. And Are you on TikTok? He's the young one, dude. Yeah, Shots my nephew. Too. My nephew's in here because he's a yeah. struggle Jennings uh, fan, dude. <laughs> struggle. Yeah. The only reason that boy's in the room because he's a fan. Yeah, he's never yeah. been to any. This is thirty four episodes. Yeah. This is the first one he's been to. Yeah, but he'd he's only done. probably come if it was either church, jelly, or struggle. <laughs> <laughs> he's here. He's blessing us with his presence. That's a good company to keep, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. That's the only reason Mama came out here. What the fuck? Yeah, so, so like you, you did, you did that. She did that hook. Now was that something that? 
it was just the raw hook and then y'all made a track around it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. straight up we yeah. built a track around I it. I love the fact that your fucking pep talk gave her the fucking inspiration yeah, to write yeah. the shit. Yeah. You can the, feel it in the way she does that hook too. Bro. Oh yeah. You can feel it yeah. in her she's yeah. No, she was believing in her eyes were yeah. opening. You know, that's that's one thing that that 2020 is so crazy that, you know, 2020 vision and a lot of people's eyes got opened. And even the ones that didn't, they, you know, the guys whose eyes did get open, we got to do the I told you so's in 2021. Right. Um, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <for sure>. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. uh, what's so, the, what's the joint that dropped right before you went in with yellow? Outlaw shit. How many views? That, let's look at that real quick. Let's yeah, fact check that. Stupid. This stupid is going to be a dumb number, dog. dude. Yeah. But if y'all well, can tell you the this though, really I remember I'm one. I remember this vividly. I'm one year into my jail bed. Mm-hmm. I'm still in county jail. I haven't been sent to prison yet. Somebody new I, says I, something. I've been sentenced federally. Yeah, and I'm waiting on uh, sentencing for the state case. Mm. And I've still got the picture, Sebastian, my homie that that you know helped me build my brand from the ground up while I was in prison. Sent me a picture. And it, it was outlaw shit with sixty thousand views, yeah. and we thought that was the biggest. Oh, shit. back then, two thousand eleven. Outlaw yeah, shit featuring dog. Yellow Wolf on Struggles page currently yeah. has fifty five million. Yeah. views. that's just on YouTube though. That's not his streaming across. It's still, when I go thousand to like, percent. Yeah, no. When I it's when I still go to like um, my Spotify for artist shit. Yeah, here comes a flex. Pay attention. Yeah, no, dude. No, no, I'm just saying. Chad, so, that sweatshirt is so hard, bro. I'm sorry. Dude, Burlington Coat Factory. Didn't Shout out market. Burlington. Yeah, so it's, it's, Cut the check, it's Burlington. still number three in my last 28 days. It's had 394,000 streams in the last month. Still to this day. And how old is that song? 10 years old, right? Uh, 11, 12, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, so the song, actually, me and Yellow Wolf did that in 2007. Into 2007, beginning 2008. I didn't release it till 20, 2011 because uh, <clears throat> a lot of my friends were saying that I shouldn't mix country and rap because yep. it would be career suicide. Man, fuck your friends, that man. Was, that that was no, they're all country Moss, rappers Moss, now. Moss. I'm just saying. When I came, when I yeah. came home from prison, ah. <laughs> they were all country rappers. But uh, oh, I love Strug, dude. Yeah, but that was was that Mass Bomb? Was that when that was yeah. starting? You was doing the Drummer Boy stuff because yeah. you had some tracks yeah. with Drummer Boy. Yeah, and that Shop was probably Drummer what boy. that was because that was when it was just. Oh yeah, they were like, oh man, you got to get it. You got yep. Drummer Boy tracks, and you yep. get a club track, and you get on the radio. Do and, you and, need and, a ride? Hey, like that's yeah. Yeah. in yeah. real yeah. facts yeah. though, I think Drummer shit's always been hot. Always, oh, no, like, for sure, bro. like, and listen, mm, he he's working shit. with Buck, real tough, right? Yeah, there. yeah. yeah. he did some shit called. Uh, he's got back then he was doing this shit called Drummer Boy Live. Yeah, and it was like all live instruments, like what we're doing now. He was doing that shit back then. Yeah, but nobody was nobody nope. was everybody wanted gravitating that. towards it or yep. biting on it. Like he was a real innovator. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I got a lot of I got a lot of inspiration from Drummer Boy and especially Yellow Wolf during that era, because you know Wolf had records back then that never saw the light of the day because labels didn't know what to do with it. It was ahead of its time, kind of yeah. thing. Like yeah, yeah straight yeah. up. Yeah, uh, the cosign Yellow Wolf has always given you. Yeah, man. It's been uh, crazy. How did how did y'all link up? I know he's – did uh, he go to high school here? Yeah, I didn't know him back then. No, I'm going to show you this real quick. This is fun. Uh, it wasn't until I, until I seen – And I, sh- I should have took him up on this, but he said, uh, let me know if I need to pull up and disturb the peace at your podcast. Yeah, pull up. <laughs> oh, pull up, Wolf. <laughs> Anytime, Wolf. Yeah, but that'd be dope, man. Yeah, uh, that's cool. Shout out, Yella. Uh, yeah, shout right out after – uh, Love story came out. Mm-hmm. I had the opportunity. I was with Revis, actually. Wow. <laughs> Fun fact. Before the fucked up haircut. Before, the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus, shout out Revis. Yeah, shout but, out uh, Revis. We love you, but I got the truth tonight. <laughs> yeah, the Revis. truth is out there, Bubba. Uh, so real talk. Another one, bro. But we oh, went, bro. yeah, for real. We've had this one out for a minute. Sorry. Uh, no, it's, all, it's all good, man. We're all just thirsty at this point. Yeah, we're good. Um, <laughs> yeah, I said, y'all got any, like, water, Diet Coke? They said, we got Fireball. <laughs> yeah, so we're drinking again. We're, we're drinking again. dog. Uh yeah, me and Revis went to uh fuck uh what's it called? Uh, fuck. The slum shit. The slum fest. Oh yeah. Okay. At the Harley joint. Yep. Uh dope ass show. I had a drop from you that night. I did something on my snap or something with you, Strug. It was yeah. funny. We were lit. Snapchat, dude. Shout out. Um yeah, rest in peace, Snapchat. It. Is it still? <laughs> what I don't happened? know. What <laughs> I happened don't know to what that? happened to it. Right? I think kids still use it. I, don't yeah, like, I never really knew what I was doing. It's like though. creepy, though, now. Yeah, yeah I don't know. No, nah, I've still got mine, but like every time I open it up, there's like 95 messages. I'm scared to death, though. <laughs> Dude, probably Some fuck of the it. shit that I've seen. Hey, there's the probably time. 60 from me trying to get your attention. I'm like, bro, please You're come through. Snapchat and fucking Vine <laughs> to try to find him. But I remember at Slumfest that particular evening, 
uh, me and Revis were lucky enough to get Doobie was there, which was yeah. great. Uh, yeah. You were there at, at Ritz. It, fun night, great. And Joe Rilla was backstage. I was like, yeah. him, I was hanging out with Joe all night. Uh, but that was where I had an opportunity to talk to Yellow one on one. And it was only for maybe three to five minutes. But I'm nobody compared to Struggle Jennings or her Chad Arms. Like, uh, yeah. I'm squints. Real talk. If if they if they know me, they know me. But I'm Yella, let you get away with that. But yeah, uh, cool. Yeah. Yella gave me an opportunity, not knowing me, to yeah. tell him what I thought about Love Story, yeah. and I thought Love Story was a phenomenal project. Oh, this is when so Yellow good. Wolf was coming through Sons of Anarchy, fucking, Bruh. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and I remember that I remember that episode of Sons of Anarchy. Yep, me I was too. in Lexington, Kentucky, in the federal penitentiary. Oh, and uh, I was in a the. The, I had finally moved down to a low and was doing the drug program. And it came on. We're watching Sons Anarchy. I had never seen the show. And something that night said, man, I'm going to go downstairs, cook some food, and, and watch this final episode of this show, Sons mm-hmm. Anarchy. Whatever ep- whatever season that was. Yeah. It was on the and outro of the it season. It was the fucking outro. Yeah. I'm like getting yeah. up, and I hear it, and I turn around like. And the montage playing yeah, during this record, yeah. all you're hearing is this record. Yeah. But I remember hearing that too. and was like. Damn, that's fucking Yellow Wolf. Like, yeah, damn, that's, that's fucking so slapping. Yeah. And then that song stuck with me personally for a long time, and it, or at least until I seen him at Slumfest. But when yeah. I started voicing my opinion, I was probably lit. But I started telling Yellow what I thought about his album that just came out a few weeks ago, and you don't know me. Yeah. <laughs> but he knew I was backstage at Slumfest, and yeah. I just got done talking to Strug, and I just got done talking yeah. you know, to everybody else in the yeah. building. And that's a and that can always go one or two ways with Yellow Wolf. <laughs> it went well. Yeah. Luckily, it went luckily, well. Yeah, luckily. It did. And uh, from that moment on, I've had a super respect for. Yeah, Yellow man. Wolf. Is this it's the moment amazing, I caught man. it in? The moment I caught Bubba Sparks in that conversation, he didn't like it too much. Yeah, yeah. but me and Bubba are cool now. Shout out Bubba. Yeah, yeah shout out Bubba. Uh, but yeah, yeah, man. Uh, Yellow Wolf, he's an incredible guy, man. A sp- special creature. You know, he's one of those guys that's like so passionate that. Uh, you know, there's two kind two kinds of people that meet him, one that love him, one that hate him. You know. Well, they probably all love him, but the ones that hate him got their feelings hurt. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's he's, honest. You, that you nailed it. No, no. he has no filter. Okay. You nailed it. Yeah. It and got their feelings hurt. Yeah. They expected something, they pull up, they yeah. they expected him to be a nice guy. They caught him at a bad time or it's yeah. just it like happens, fuck man. off, I don't want to yeah. be bothered. Yeah. 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 I totally yeah. get it, bro. Because yeah. I you know, I get that from a lot of people that'll be like, Oh man, we heard Yellow Wolf's an asshole. No, he's not an asshole. He's just he's a fucking human and he's you know he deals with a lot, and sometimes you'll catch him, and he's just the fucking best person to be around. And sometimes you don't want to be bothered. Yeah, he's yeah. a very talented. Fault him for that. He's a very know? talented person, he's human. regardless. Yeah. And all us artists are crazy. If we, yeah. you know, the shit that goes through our head to be able to write these songs and and do the yeah. things that we do, you know, we're fucked up. I don't even <laughs> think it's. I don't even think it's write the songs or do what you do. It's just to be on the road like y'all are, and, yeah, and, and, and like a, a person like yourself. You juggle. You're so a struggle as Dude, a I family a, man. I just did a six month tour with bronchitis. Like literally, I caught bronchitis the day before the tour, and it did not leave until I came home. Like six or six weeks. Mm. Six weeks solid. You didn't have a chance to rest. Bless it. your heart. No, I didn't have no time to. Yeah. No, it was, it was literally drink a bottle of tequila before the show to get through it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that'll how do, do it. How do you get through like that kind of a extensive tour? Alcohol. Like I mean, I know, but at some point, like, how does. You how, pray that you get home before you die. No, right. <laughs> that's just. That's just the, yeah. the, it's hard to compute that. Like, same with Jelly, like when compute. I talk to him about it. Like, to just be able to. Do that kind of a tour, and just be able to. I don't know, bro. Like every night, I well, saw you, you like your follow. tour dates are just like this. Yeah, you know what I mean, and, it's a workhorse, bro. Yeah, yeah, I prefer I prefer it that way. Like you know, every day that we're not, it's nice to have a night off with the band and take them out yeah. to a nice dinner and get everybody a hotel room. But every night that we're out there and we're not working, we're not making money. Yeah, we're spending money. Real yeah. talk. Yeah. So and I, you know, I know like uh, for major artists that are on labels, they make all their money off touring. For end of Independent artists, especially in my my shoes, I lose money touring. Yeah, you know, but I just because of the overhead, right? Yeah, the overhead, yeah. and yeah. you know, I, I take care of my guys, and um, y'all look like y'all have a blast, though, man. Yeah, we do. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's still work at the end of the day, but you at yeah. least you get to have that time, and you seem to have such a a close bond with everybody, which you have to to be able to to coexist with them for that amount of time. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I've always been one of those guys that were like, I, I really believe in family and. To the point where, you know, I'd rather call you family than even have friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like, for sure. I, I pull people in, and it burns me a lot of times because I'll pull people in and try to make them part of the family or, 
you know, uh, they have different. Stroke, you can pull me in anytime yeah. you want, bro. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're, family, we're I won't sure. let you down, You're my man. My brother for life, bro. For I won't sure, let dog. you down, Stroke. I promise, dog. For sure, dog. We uh, always looked at you like that, man. Like I said, bro. Uh, I remember one time in particular, uh, Stroke, at, at when Street Flavor, shout out, Sonny, and then we're over at, and Blackfly. Yeah, they were over at the towers, <laughs> right? Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. And I remember one time I walked in there. I don't even remember why I was there. That's when he did that feature for me. Was oh, it Stroke? When they was at Blackfly, yep. Um, yep. I don't remember why I was there, but it was one of those moments where Stroke just fucking pops up from whatever booth he came out of. So, Squinch, yeah, what are you I, doing, I, man? Come here. Yep. My guy. Yeah, that was that, when his hair was long. Yeah. That was, when he, it, that was, struggling. That was 2010. Yeah, that was 2010, right? Yeah. That's that, a long that, fucking time ago. 2010, yeah. Yeah, I had an office there and yep. about 30 bricks in the drop ceiling. Yep. Y'all motherfuckers was deep in there, bro. <laughs> I, had, I, dude, I had a refrigerator. I was so I was so ridiculous. I had a refrigerator that was full of like fagos and root beers mm-hmm. that every one of them had been poured out and fucking two ounces of syrup been pulled in it. Fuck poured, yeah. poured in it. I wish like, I was just closer sitting to in the show. refrigerator. Yeah, dude. I was ridiculous. I had my logo painted on the walls, trying to hide the fact that I was a drug dealer. Like that, like with being flashy was flashier was gonna help. Like they really believed I was a rapper. Right, well, dude, but but again, though, bro, you got legal money now, and you're but just again, as flashy. But again, bro, though. again, bro, now, now I get to flex. Gro- like get you be flexing still, yeah. though, man. Yeah. Stroke the pulled gross, up out here in the truck. I, boom, 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 boom. I said, "Stroke's here." Yeah. I don't know what he's saying. I, mean, I, I should have hit that horn on you. I got the train horn. Oh shit! I'm Big glad you did. Four horns. It's nuts. Uh, <laughs> shout out Screw horn blasters. Everybody in this uh, subdivision. No, it's it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. you know who? Uh, you know a gentleman named Bars Major. Yeah. I love bars, man. He's you know he, what he's he is confirmed, Chad. So yeah, he, Chad's I'm excited a, about that one. I'm a huge fan of battle rap, dog. And I he, just got the message on the battle rap circuit. Bars is always he's always been so hungry, man. Yeah, yeah like yeah, if man. he could ever reel it in for five minutes and just record an album and yeah, man, you know, really, it, it, he would fucking. So glad you said that. Yeah. He's right so when you disciplined said it. with everything else, dog. Like his, dude, I need to get him to like get me into shape, bro. That's what I need. I need yeah. to get him to put me on a workout plan uh, for sure. But the shout out bars major. Shout out Bars Major. I'm yeah, excited to have him on. Bars, I man. just happened to get that message. The only reason I mentioned that. Yeah, uh, he's a fucking legend. So man. you said, as far sorry, going back to the Wolf thing. Did did y'all had y'all known each other since like way way back in the day? No, actually. So uh, we had uh, we we're doing a movie about my life. Mm-hmm. Alex King. Mm-hmm. Shout out Alex King. He yep. had he had met Sebastian, the guy that I mentioned earlier, at a music conference. Yep. They had sat on the same panel or something. Something had happened. Um, or I think Sebastian was just there. Alex was on the panel. Mm. They were talking, and Sebastian was, you know, he had just started a record label and signed Mike Geronimo out of New York. I remember him. Yeah, yeah I remember that name. He was, you know, he was like, um, Mike Geronimo was like right there with DMX, <clears throat> Jay-Z. Yep. Actually had hits before Jay-Z. <clears throat> and uh, just never could conform to what the labels wanted him to conform to. Right. Mm. Um, street dude, dope ass artist. But, um, so Sebastian had signed him, but Alex was selling him on investing in a movie because Sebastian's background was film. A movie about struggle? About me. Yeah. Got it. Oh yeah. It could be a good fucking movie, bro. So sure, I'd pay we got it. I would too. Yeah, dude, we had a script written. Let um, me get a role, bro. Billy Bob Thornton was going to play my uncle. Why not squint? That's so dope, dude. dude that's how I met Yellow Wolf. How dope is. is that? Yeah. We actually reached out. We're getting so excited. We're cutting <laughs> off his story. We're like, oh, <laughs> right. What? Sorry, yeah, sorry. my man. Go ahead. The, the fireball the pro- sorry. Yeah, the, the producers had actually reached out to Yellow Wolf to play me. Yeah. That they found Yellow Wolf and was like, oh, this guy would be perfect. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so then Yellow Wolf came to town. We met. We talked. We talked about it. And he was like, man, he was like, I would fucking love to do this. Yeah. Like, this would be fucking crazy. And, um, but that's how me and him met. Dope. That's so. crazy, bro. I, didn't, I never knew that. So that's I've dope. heard this story before from Yellow yeah. on an interview or something. I've heard yeah. this to where the, the story ends with him saying, that's why I got this tattoo right here. Yeah, and on really? on Yellow's hand right here it, it says, says Nash- Nashville, Nashville, Nashville struggle, struggle. Yep. and that's he tells the dude, story of struggle dope, and where struggles that. at and when yeah. he'll be home and yeah. that's fine. He misses dude. it, and then y'all just y'all that's how y'all developed like a friendship over there. Bro, yeah. he, was, he was literally sleeping in fucking studio on studio couches yeah. all across Atlanta, and uh, I had forever, man, and I, I wish I still had it. But when I went to prison, everything got lost. Yeah. Um, 
but I had a, a note framed, and it was on the back of a uh, uh, like a TV guide from a hotel room. Yeah, I had a room at the Westin in, on Peachtree in Atlanta, and Wolf had slept on my floor that night. That's and, crazy. Uh, he wrote this long letter just telling me like how he valued what I do and how much he believed in me. Mm. I had that letter forever, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to think back now, cause I was a dope boy, so I had money, but big dope boy. He, he wasn't big. You know, dope he boy. was still, still trying to find his way in the music. Mm. And he had had big situations and, you know, shit had went South, you know, with the whole Columbia and Rick yeah. Rubin and shit. Yeah. Um, so, and, you know, he like like I said, he's been an inspiration as well as like he's he never gave up. You know, he just yeah. I think he's a genius of an artist. Oh yeah, bro. He's when a, I hear he's his a shit, maniac, like man. the new shit, the Mudmouth album. Oh god, uh, yeah. the song. Uh, Wait, y'all see the movie? Oh, was a movie? Yeah, dude. A whole. I'm talking about. Full, Let me get a fucking roll, dude, man. No, what is happening out here? Full, I just want a job, dog. Full length feature, full length movie, gonna yeah. be in movie theaters. Hopefully, hopefully they get it in movie theaters. Um, it's the entire. Nobody goes to theaters. The entire album, mm-hmm. all, the a, way all together. He shot a video yes. for every song. Yeah, he just did that for the fuck of it. It's He's amazing all, because though. the Love movie. It. Yeah, because the movie wasn't able to come out as quick as he thought. He shot those videos. But some of these fucking kids insane. watch YouTube more than they do listen to music, bro. Oh, oh for, for sure. sure, bro. That's the for angle sure. on that. Yeah. Well, YouTube's my my largest source source of income. Oh, for sure. Dude. Fun fact. For sure. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. But it's uh, well. No, I, I, I can yeah. definitely concur, for yeah. sure. Yeah, chat on TV can, for sure. Well, I mean, much smaller scale than him. But yeah, could you imagine sure. having a YouTube gets watched YouTube, YouTube gets watched way more than yeah. streams. The streams. Yeah, I know everybody, sure. like, you know, a lot of these, because uh, I hire people a lot to, like, you know, what do you think we should do next? You know, I try to. Hire me, man. Yeah, man. Well, How many times I got to ask for a fucking job, Stroke? <laughs> he needs a reference, dude. He needs references. Yeah. Job nah, interview. Yeah, Name of the episode, job what, interview. He's telling me what job you want. We'll make it happen. Dude, make it happen. Um, <laughs> but a lot of these labels uh, or people that used to work for labels or, you know, yeah, people that went sure. to school for music business, mm-hmm. they always want to focus on Spotify. Like, we need to put the Spotify single out there. We need to do this. And, yeah. and I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, YouTube. Bro, and they pay you know, way more. Fuck yeah, bro. YouTube, Spotify pays like point zero zero three eight cents, though. Yeah, now, now so, they, and, and this is how people always come back. They're like, no, YouTube pays the least. YouTube only pays the least for the audio. When it comes to visuals, yep. and for you the ad revenue. AdSense, Absolutely. And ad revenue, that's Absolutely. where you get your money. Monetization yeah. is money. AdSense yeah. is where it's at, dog. Like, I, do we want to go down this rabbit hole? We start talking about YouTube monetization because no, 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 man, this will get us both riled up, Chatty. Yeah. No, no, no. It's Every fine. episode of the podcast yeah. doesn't get monetization. Why? Tell me. I don't know. Well, they hit us with the whole limited avail- limited ad uh, mm-hmm. availability right, because I'm of rolling the up, smoking. There's brands sitting so around everywhere, them, and then they they eventually approve everything. There's only but, two that they haven't approved, but but it's, it's the hurdles. Just, it's just a hurdle. Yeah, no, it is. But I mean, it, up. bullshit. But like, but Cardi B's butthole can be on there, right? Yeah. Just tell, just t- <laughs> look. Nas X can be like with a bunch of naked and, dudes, and it's right. Be my the devil my, blow job, my argument, yeah, for real. Legal weed. My argument is, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, they don't yeah. tell you, brother. So just I say, can oh, avoid does. doing it. Yeah, they've done. And it. Us get this, yeah, us get the monetization without question. Do they hit y'all with that with the whole? Yeah, they with they, some of y'all's content. Yeah, so like, um, I know they they did it at first with uh, Fall in the Fall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Limited monetization. Really? Mm-hmm. On that one? Yeah, because the gunfire and Jelly's rolling up. And y'all got like 70 million views. Rolling yeah. up. Like half the fucking nation has a little bit We haven't even started yeah. talking about How long you got, bro? How long you got I'm here? I'm here for a little while. We haven't even started talking about Waylon and Willie yet, bro. Dude, no, this is a long story, bro. Like, hey, that's what I'm dude, saying. Like, we haven't. Struggle Jennings in the building. Dude. I'm so excited, dude. Dog. I am too, dude. I can't believe you ain't smoked a square yet. Oh, shit, we're about to be famous, Jack. Get in this. Oh, get in there. <laughs> this was just going to somebody to make sure they knew where I was at. Oh, uh, okay. you just oh, okay. checking in. What up, wifey? <laughs> no, I get that. Totally. I'm surprised no, mine ain't bro, called like, I think the first time I saw Struggle perform, dog, and I'm not even joking, it was at some random spot, 
in Nashville in like 2003, and he had a shirt on with like an air. It was when it, people were wearing airbrush shirts. And he had the braids and everything, dog. Dude, the braids was so much, dog. Yeah, dude, that was back then. It was like 03. I can't, dude. I can't talk about struggles braids though, and not talk about jellies. It was like these it two were like, like attached at the hip, yeah, and they're just sure. walking around with these big fucking braids well, I, dangling I off their head. I first saw y'all on the. Hold on, let's let's not throwing no shade, but Jelly's only got to his shoulders. And ah, he gave up. You had that Michael Jordan hang time on yeah, your brain. I, I could time around my belt loop. <laughs> Talk your shit. But, but uh, you know, I regretted not cutting mine when Jelly did. You're, that shit was fucking. Dude, another story that we can talk about, like when I went and interviewed Broadnax, shout out Broadnax, he said the first time he Do you know that kid? Uh, dude, do you know that, that kid? Let's best. talk about him for bro, real quick. He is he's one, one of my favorite people. In the whole world, bro. Do you know yeah. that? Have you heard him? Broad Broad next. Next. You need to look him up. Dog. This is a kid over here. Yeah, this is a yeah, consumer. Nah, Broad Broad is one next. of the best, best human beings. One of the most yeah. dude. underrated fucking best Fire. rappers. Yeah, ever, dude, is, dude, dude is ever cold ever as had. fuck. And we, we, I've been going down there. I'm going to start going down there monthly and doing content for him. Chad's like, moving content. in. And so he was saying the first time he met you, um, it was some. I think it was at some gas station. You put. He said you pulled up to some gas station. You just parked wherever you wanted to, and they were fine with it. Yeah. But he said he said you had the braids to the to, yeah. to like your waist. Yeah. And he was talking about. He said that in like literally the last clip that I uploaded. But he was just shouting you out, talking about how much you know, how dope he thought you were. Same thing you just did for him. But shout out yeah, Broad next no, day. He's amazing, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'd, yeah. Shout you know, out Broadnax. That's, that's I'm a one, fan. I don't know yeah, him, that, dude. That's one frustrating thing about the game is like. You got guys like him that fucking deserve it. Oh, you know dude. What I mean? yeah. and, and have f- more fucking talent. But all they got to do is, is just, like, just like you and everybody else we've been mentioning on that are at that, at that caliber of talent in their lives. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Bro, I'm, I'm not slowing down. You, you no, can't sure. miss, well, bro. With, just with, keep going. Yeah. Like With Broadnax, like, he just got a co-sign from Shaq. Like, Shaq just Shaquille invited him O'Neal. to Baton Rouge. To, you know, Shaq's a big-time DJ now. Shaq brought him out on stage. Yeah. So, like, things with Broadnax are really fixing to start taking off, but shout-out to Broadnax, man. Yeah, like I said, I like when we talk about people like Broadnax because I don't know that guy. I know that yeah. guy from Struggle Jennings telling me about him, or my buddy Chad Arm showing me footage. He let, of me, he let me and my lady come to his spot, dude, like his 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 home. Yeah, and film and like and dude, and he said he was like, I don't do that, bro. But he we did some a lot of dope interview content. We still got some coming out over the next three weeks, and he's just he's just a dope ass person, bro. And he's so talented. I just love the way he raps. No, he's so cold. But dude. then loving the way he raps made me interested in his character, and you being one of my best friends, getting content with him. His character. I'm interested in the content. He's like Strug, bro. Like he's like one of those those souls, bro. Like exactly. He's, he's like, like a like, sharp soul, dude, man. It's, it's 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 and his accent. Dog, yeah, it's the best. It's dude. the fucking best, bro. <laughs> it's the best. It's the baby, best, baby. Baby, dude, you sound just like yeah. him, bro. dude. If I close my eyes right now, you sound just like. Well, him, see dude. with Brian next too. Like his punctuation at sentences is bitch, but it says he says b. Yeah. So like he thinks people. He just said, I don't want nobody to think I'm disrespecting him, but I say you know. If he says, you know, Chad Arm CV B, like he's not saying I'm a bit. He's just that's just how he talks. But he, but dude, Ronex is the shit, bro. Yeah, Straight up. Yeah. Struggle right. Jennings in the building. I actually dude. just, I actually just uh, got. Y'all need to do a song together, bro. No, no, we just did one. They would. You wouldn't be able to tell yeah. who's who until they start rapping. <laughs> if y'all were just talking at the beginning, you think y'all could mix it up. Nobody I think knows. He told the difference. me that. I think he told me y'all just did. Yeah, one. no, I just brought him. I, I got him to come up. And uh, with Caitlin, he did, he did a song with Caitlin, and me yeah. and him did a song with Brianna. Yeah, he told he told me yeah. that. Okay, cool. Dope. Hell yeah, dude. Dope. He's trying to get, he's trying to get one linked in with Jelly, and the one he's got for Jelly is so fire, dog. It's yeah. so fire. So hopefully that happens. But um, yeah, I'm, I'll make that happen. I have to make that happen for sure, dude. He he, he just texted me earlier today. He, before deserves, I came he here. deserves it. He don't need it. But yeah, he, he deserves it. Yeah, I thought he'd be on by now. So like, Shh. it's fixing to happen. His. Um, so let's 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 do this. Like Jelly, how mm. how 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 far back do you and Jelly go? Like when did when did you and him first? We met just, like oh three. Um, I'll give you the short edition. Yeah, we met like oh three. I was out selling CDs. He was hosting a rap battle. Yep. And he was out there passing out. I think I was passing out flyers for a show that yep. we were doing mm. on Second Avenue and selling CDs. Second Avenue, not Broadway. No, that's what he, that's what Jelly was saying Second in the Avenue. interview. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Hell yeah. And, uh, he, he tried to he tried to test me. Shut up, Scatterbrain. And was he, he tried to test me, and he was like, uh, he's like, oh yeah, man, I'm gonna be at the studio later if you want to pull up. I'm, I'm like, cool. I was like, uh, where's it at? And he was like, in the alley behind Joe Johnson. I was mm-hmm. like, cool. 
I was like, what time are you going to be there? He was like, 1 o'clock a.m. I was like, all right, cool. So he stood out, he, you know, he, he's looking at a bunch of white boys on saying that. That's what I was going to say. Half these people fin- listening don't even yeah, know what you're talking well, about. They're not, fin- they're not they finna get pull it. up at Joe Johnson Projects no, at 1 a.m. in the alley. <laughs> and you said, hold my beer, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah I'll be no, right we, there. We pulled up. Yeah. It was like seven deep in my uh, my 92 Caprice. Mm. Bubble eye. Mm. <laughs> We pulled up on his ass and we sat out there and listened to all, you know, I played all the songs that I had recorded and uh, one of them caught his ear. He was like, man, I want to get on that. And I was like, cool. So I shot him my address. Um, I didn't even shoot him my address. Back then, we didn't have fucking. No, nah, bro. We, 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 didn't, we, we didn't have GPS. Phones, What's he going to do? Pull his map out, Stroke? Yeah. Well, map that was quest. back when you had to type the same number yeah, the like map three quest times. You go to map quest and you got to print it out and like yeah. carry it yeah. riding like that. Remember that shit? That was so stupid, Fucking bro. caveman era. Yeah, super caveman. Yeah, yeah. nuts. But so he uh, he pulled up to my house a couple nights later, and we did a song called I Ain't Biting, which ended up becoming like a city Half-way. club anthem. Mm. Such a Fun fact. Yeah, and uh, we actually got banned from doing shows in Nashville because every time we did that song, a fight broke. Bro, I can totally see that. Sure. That's yeah. the first time I heard you rap, bro, well, like, yeah. on, like on that album. You yeah. know what I mean? With 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 you with um, you and Jelly and not – R.I.P. Worm, not that yeah. worm, but the different worm. Mm-hmm. But I remember that's the first time I had heard of struggle, like rap wise. Yep. And so that's dope, bro. And to see what y'all have been able to build, been able to build Will, with the way then and Willie series, like. Yeah. Whoops, God, Chad breaks a fireball, though. I can't believe neither me nor Strug has smoked a Newport since this start. Dude, I'm I thought dying. you did. I'm dying right now. It's Let's about to go break. down. Let's take a break. Anyway. You got a piss? Let's take a piss, man. We'll yeah, be right back. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I love the chicken on the stove. Yeah. My, my dog ain't going to eat it. <laughs> Who ain't going to eat it? My His dog, pit bull. My pit bull. He will not eat that shit. And he'll eat any fucking thing, man. But that chicken? Yeah, chicken He's got a stick. connection to I'll it. Because he knows that stick's in there and he'll fucking... No, it's not no, the I'll stick. I'll pull it off the stick. It's because he knows it's another fucking dog. <laughs> mm, sorry, I missed the wave. My bad. It's, uh, I, I got some shit to say to podcast, man. We uh, we back up in this bitch, man, from a piss break. Uh, Chat on TV in the building. Come on, Squints, catch up. My yeah. hero, Struggle Jennings, is here. This is number five, I think. Oh, it's been a few. I threw all the balls away during the break. Yeah, I got some in my pocket. I don't know why. They're empty. I got some in my pocket, and I don't know why. They're empty. Yeah. I'm going to get pulled over, and cops going to be like, step out the car. Be like, <laughs> what happened, officer? He's going to be like, oh, shit, you're Struggle Jennings. I can fuck it up. No, that story at the beginning. Oh, I'm good. I got water. Thank you, man. Mel's here. Obviously, there's chicken on the table. We got, we got some chicken wine. Don't, 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 don't. Boom, man. Mm, miss, because I'm horrible at basketball. Uh, yeah, what an evening. Bro. It's like uh, the way this thing works mm-hmm. in between segments and before we started this episode. I feel like we said all the good shit when the camera was off. It's not. I'm going to have to come back. You can come back anytime you want, yeah, my friend. Let's get through this fucking, you know, I got 17 kids, so. Mm-hmm. Busy man. <laughs> Let's get through Christmas. I'd love to come back uh, first of January. Whenever you want, though. Whenever you want. I mean, what, if you we'll show if you show up for a second time before Jelly, that's oh, a flex. Dude. Jelly showed up episode fourteen. Stroke. I this swear, is episode thirty four, thirty five. Yeah, though. absolutely. Uh, for the the people listening and watching right now, we are doing everything in our power. Me and Chad Arms and the rest of I got some shit to say. To get Struggle Jennings and Jelly Roll in the same <laughs> fucking room at the same fucking time. It'll we're, happen. Look, we're also trying to work on uh, the husband and wife shit to where yeah. the couples pull up. Yeah. And then Mel sit with Chad and Amy sit with me. Yeah. Dude, bring that, Taboo through. That'd be bring dope. Taboo. Yeah. Jelly That'd bring Bunny. Yeah. Five bring his old lady. Yeah. Like, bro, gold. Yeah. yeah. That would be, we could put buzzers in front of us at a round table and just start <laughs> chiming in with first responses, bro. <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm a marketing Strugs genius. In the building, Strugs, Strugs in the building. I'm so glad too, man. Because it's uh, been a blessing, man. I, you know, I've I've really been excited watching from the sidelines, seeing what y'all are doing, man. Um, Vice versa. Strug. Both of y'all, Lex. You know, Big Leroy, my little cousin, for sure. <laughs> like I've been dying. I, you know, and it's crazy because I don't get much time mm-hmm. to like really get caught up on content for like, sure. Because you're always moving, dog. Busy creating yeah, your uh, own, sure. man. I, I, you so ain't gotta explain busy. it to us. So I haven't got to like dive into all the episodes but now yeah. that i found out there's 34 of them mm-hmm. yeah bro 
I'm finna binge watch that shit like Yellowstone. Bro, since, Dude, ju- since shout out Yellowstone, dog. I still Yellowstone's ain't watched like, it, man. I'm it sorry. Like, I gotta catch up on the last few, but that's why you're still. That's why you're still wearing a sweater and a gold chain. Wait till you wait till you watch. What? Yellowstone. What did you just say to me? Let Shut him up. finish. Let him finish. You're it's gonna, you're gonna be in a fucking cowboy hat with yeah. some Ray Bans, <laughs> a fucking Carhartt jacket, and a gun on your hip, looking like Rip. Just you're probably wait. right. Rip is Rip's the yeah, goat. Dude. Rip's the man. Rip huh? is the goat. I haven't watched not just one second. Rip of it. is the goat. It's at the point now though where I'm so envious. I want to watch it very badly. You can so. have my login for uh, whatever it's called. Shout out to Chad's got the. I got Paramount. Chad's the uh, login king, bro. This motherfucker's got voodoo. You know what voodoo is? Yeah. Chad has a login. He's like, bro, I got this voodoo shit, bro. You can use my login. I'm like, all right, cool. He's like, but it's got my whole... Chad used to collect movies. And I just moved them all to digital, bro. Cause he sold all the DVDs and the Blu-rays. Yeah. And, just and went them. digital. Yeah. He's like, bro, you can have my login, man. I just, I basically just bought all my movies digital. You yeah. can get them for, you know, anywhere from 3 to $10 yeah, they're a they're super piece. cheap digital. Yeah. This motherfucker had damn near a 1,000 movies. Bro, bro, there's so many, dude. I'd love to. You wouldn't even get have it. No, you, you wouldn't even. You would have it. You wouldn't even get to watch, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm a movie guy, so no. You, you have the login. I'll nah, take I just it. like to judge you on your collection. That's oh, it. It's mostly <laughs> horror movies. Yep. Yeah, it's mostly you, horror movies. It would but. take you at least twenty to thirty minutes to get through that collection. I did yeah. it on the Samsung TV, so it's yeah. like nine or twelve at a time. It's yeah. like mostly <sighs> horror movies, mostly like horror movies, comedies, and then random like Disney movies in there here and there. Dude, it's kind of all over the place. There's some wild shit in there. Chad is a movie guru. It is dope, man. Shout out Struggle Jennings. Dude. I love y'all. Waylon and Willie, bro. Let's talk about Waylon and Willie. Y'all got another one coming? I hope so, man. Put Chad I'm Arms on it. No, we, we, I'm, I, wait I, for, I I'm waiting on Waylon and Willie 5 like y'all waiting on the second episode with Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> nah. That's too funny. I'm just man. glad y'all finally, because bro, Waylon so, and Willie stuff bro is, is so, so dope, busy, bro. man. Like, yeah. You are too. Right. No, I'm, bu- I'm busy as fuck, but my world will stop. You know, for Waylon and Willie, because exactly, you know, it, it, Waylon and Willie for me, not only was it amazing because I was getting to three different times, amazing four, yep, thanks, sorry, four. and uh, not only was it amazing that I got to make music with my best friend who I've been through fucking hell and back with, yeah, um, you know, we all dreamed about this and to getting to watch it all come to fruition and mm-hmm. be able to create together has was amazing, but Jelly gave me that. You know, I, I have to give him 100% props for, um, you know, even doing that with me. Not saying, you know, that he wouldn't because we're best friends, but he was on his own musical path and he was already sure. growing to, you know, uh, great heights. Mm-hmm. And I was just coming home from prison. Yeah. So us doing those together, of course, it, it catapulted both of us, mm-hmm. but it gave me a foundation to be able to stand on my own with. I'm glad you recognize Absolutely that. Absolutely. Oh, hundred percent, bro. And, and like I said as humbly as I can, like, yeah, I, I like the fact that you're both at a point of success, but to hear y'all both recognize that, because bro, the whole time you were gone, that's all it was. It was a bro, free struggle campaign, bro. And, I, and, I t- and I'll tell you this too, just going to his, I went to like five of his shows on this tour. Mm-hmm. Every single Chanting set, every shit. single set, bro. Fall in the fall, mm-hmm. you can't go home. Yeah. Every single one. Oh, yeah. Fall in the fall gets some of the biggest pops. When I say safety, free, I mean, y'all say struggle. Yeah. Free. Yeah. Yeah, it, it never stopped. This seemed like it was on repeat. Yeah, dude. So, like, yeah, it, no, the, I still the crowd do. chants, they sing every word to fall in the fall, bro. Uh, yeah. I, I, do, I do it every show, too. Yeah. Chad, I'm gonna, I promise, dude. I'm going to keep looking for that letter that he wrote, Josh. Because <laughs> that it. shit is fire, bro. I think, I really think. That he, just shows how dope Struggle was, it though. Do, I wish he didn't I didn't know it. that was you, and he no. just wrote to you because you were a And it was that, so like, sincere. Yeah, that's dope. And Strug's got the dopest handwriting. If y'all know Strug personally, <laughs> Strug had, have you ever seen Strug's handwriting? No, I haven't. Strug has the dopest I had a fuck. Lot of time to practice. Right? This motherfucker, <laughs> like, draw, when he writes your name, he'll just draw it, and it's dope. I swear <laughs> to God. That's cool. Has anybody, I know people told you that, bro. Dude, for real. But I remember uh, when I got it, it was addressed my first name or what. I don't even know how you got it through the fan thing or whatever subscription it was. It was a long time ago, man. It was before that was type of move. Like I, I remember sitting. I was actually I was because I worked in the gym. Hey, Josh. That's how it started, Chad. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Hi. That's so funny. Hope I wish I had well. it. But the the whole letter, he has no idea. It's Quince. Yeah, he's he's writing to, to Josh. You know what I'm saying? A fan that took their time to support Strug while he was locked down. And it wasn't shit. It was just a little fucking something fans do. It was, it was appreciated then as much as it is now. I did it because I was a fan. 
I've always been a fan, bro. Appreciate I fucking it. respect the shit out of you. The way you carry yourself, the way you built your brand, the way you continue to build your brand, the way you house your family and take care of your family. Yep. Yeah, man. But like I touched on earlier, like you, you, you poetic. You you, you yeah. put shit out there different. You follow no, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you know, people ask me all the time, they're like, where do your lyrics come from? And to be honest, that shit's in your blood, bro. Bro, that shit comes from somewhere. Like, there's times I'll write a verse and be emotional as fuck while I'm writing it. And then when mm-hmm. I'm done, play it back and be like, damn, did I say that? Like, where did that come from? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. That shit you went to you a know, different place. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm channeling something different when I write. And, yeah. um, you know, I'm, I'm diving deep into emotions and uh, of everything that I've been through and all of y'all have been through and our families have been through, you know. Yeah. So it's coming from a, a, a place of sincerity, but also another realm, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, My- my favorite struggle is two completely different struggles, but my favorite song from Struggle mm-hmm. is an old one. It's When You Come Home. I'm sure you get yeah, that a lot. Yeah. That one is just, that makes you tear up. Like, with the sample in it that he said on soundtrack to an indictment, mm-hmm. shit was so fire. But I, I always go back to your 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 parts on Love is a War, dog. Chad is an encyclopedia oh, yeah. of all y'all. Bro, Love Everybody's is a War music. is so good, dog. Yeah, I love that. that. That was slept on so bad. I think it was too, bro. And I think that's some Love of your is best. Love War and Monster. Yes, yes. Both Monsters are I too. remember Monster. I yeah, don't know Love is a War off the top they of my were, head. They went over people's heads. Love but. is a War was because, I don't know, the, the Waylon and Willie, like, and you're di- it's different because you and Jelly are different on the Waylon and Willie stuff than you are on your solo stuff, which is yeah. what it should be. Yeah. Because it's a diff- it's a it's a joint project. Well, because together we inspire each other on in yeah. a different place. And then the stuff like, you and Adam do is that now you now you nailed it. Yeah, me, and, me and Adam are going we're like two boxers in the ring. Yes, Shout out Adam Calhoun. Yes, dude. I gotta meet this kid, man. I, I I'm a fan of Adam. It'll happen, bro. We're gonna make it happen in twenty twenty two for sure. He's just been super busy, but we're gonna go up to Chicago for sure and get that get that knocked out. Chicago. Yeah. Uh, but y'all stuff, y'all like that song that y'all got. Uh, the bodies. Dropping bodies, bro. Yeah. See what I'm saying, dude? Chad will call out record for record and like that kind of I'm shit. I'm just a Chad. fan, bro. I'm just I've been a fan I, of, all, of Nashville. Dude, I'm not bro. hating, man. Relax, no, dude. No, don't I, beat me up. I'm literally crazy. I wish yeah, I knew yeah. it. Like you, when it comes to sports, he's the same way. Yeah, I'm just like I just like that, bro. Statistic shit, which is it's good. Just, it's just dope. It's just dope to see, and it's it's just cool as fuck that struggles here on December 22nd, bro, or 21st, or whatever this is. He's got so many obligations he probably could be at, but he came to come kick it with us for a couple uh, hours. Christmas shopping all day. I got caught in Green Hills traffic. If you What'd you buy me? Green Hills. <laughs> I got you. I just got to wrap. He bought you a podcast episode. That's what he brought you. <laughs> Thank you, Struggle. Merry Christmas. The best well, Christmas yeah. present Merry I could have asked for. But yeah, Green Hills traffic is a different animal. It's yeah, been, I haven't been to funny. Christmas Green That's Hills. That's a different vibe, too. We dealt with Murfreesboro great, um, Christmas traffic, and that wasn't funny. Yeah. Yeah. Is that how it sounded? It sounded a little choppy. Yeah, DJ Scratch and Sniff? We uh, dealt with the Murfreesboro <laughs> traffic. It's the fireball, bro. We've done like five shots a day, Bubba. Right? I don't even drink. And then Mel shows up with this. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Fireball with friends. Donnie Weirdbeard. Oh, for sure. Lex, Don, Don, Lex, shout out to Lex. Dollar. Lex's beard, look, no, struggle. Your beard is go struggle. Go struggle. Let's talk about it. Go struggle. On Lex's beard. No, I'm. I'm. I'm finally looks like a grown up. That's his struggle startup kit. Dude, I love it. I just, I think it's so. It grows in. So I'm fucking slick, jealous. It grew in perfect. His first shot. Oh, dude, this is great. His first shot. He Babe Ruth, dude. He called it. He He called it. Dude, he he pointed it. Chad will let you cut his hair right now. He needs a haircut so bad. (laughs) My last haircut was at Great Clips. We're not even going to talk about my haircut situation. That's why I wear a hat 98 percent of the time. Plus, he has. A hundred million dope. What did you just pull out? I led you up, bro. Yeah. What do you got? Where did you get that? In the words of Whistle Fizzle, might want to shave, might want to shave somebody else. You never know. And he pointed at Squints. And Squints said, No That's problems a... here. <laughs> no beef. No beef. 2009 uh, Whistle, RIP Worm, man. But yeah, man. Salute to Strug, man. We're going. He's back. That one, hit, that one hits different, Strug. Let me know what you think about that. If you carry a knife full time, how do you feel about that? Yeah, that's that one. Yeah, that was beautiful. That's a killer right there. It's, it's cute. That's yours. He said it's cute, dude. Oh, wow. I want you to kill somebody with it, please. Uh, God, let's not put that on the podcast. Chad, go. <laughs> Shout out Struggle Jennings, man. Shout this out Struggle been, this Jennings. Has been, this has been one of my favorite episodes, bro. Just the way that 
everything worked out. So salute to Strug, man. No, no shame. We gotta do it again because we, we. Anytime you anytime, want to pull yeah, up, you just say squints. Let's just go. Just say squints. This is my home. This is where yeah, I live. I'll, I'll make the drive. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll be there. We'll make sure Lex and Leroy are here. Or we'll work it out. Yeah, I gotta do it with them too. Yeah, yeah for my, sure. My for nephew's sure. here at nine thirty p.m. during. Yeah, he's never been here. I love this I've kid. never met this guy. Right? I love the kid. I really yeah. do. But there's only three artists that I know personally. Chad's my best friend, and he never pulls up for Chad. No offense to Chad. Yeah. But he pulled up for Struggle Jennings. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's the impact you have on the world, my friend. Yeah, man, I appreciate that. He'd probably nah. want to pull up for for church if we ever get church uh, yeah. down here. Church don't like me. Yeah. Shut up. Nah, yes, he does. I got to throw shit. That's how I got your attention. I started to, I told That's David. How, David bro, Manning text me. You know what I told David Manning? You know, you know what I told him? Word for word. I said, David, call Struggle Dillings and tell him I came over here asking for prayer that Struggle will respond to me. <laughs> he didn't tell me that. He just hit me up and said, hey, man. You that know. was the spin to the joke, David's bro. David's not uh, yeah. going to put a spin on anything. David is his. His, He's a real one. Yeah, nah, David hit me up and said, hey, man, Squints wants to get you on a podcast. I said, I'm a fan. Put us in his group message. And then a Five week later, later, here he is. Five minutes later, we were talking. Yeah. Yeah. But I told him, I said, tell I him I came over here. But like I said, I got 17 kids. And tell I, him I came over here 46 crying. 46 tours, dude. Dude, I just did a 45-day tour. Yes, I've, been dude. Home, I've been home 11 days mm. trying to catch up on fucking. And he hasn't what, had a voice either on top of that. So. Oh, no, I ain't had a fuck voice. Fuck that. So. You sound like that all the time. Yeah, I haven't had a voice since 2019. I love that shit. That shit's hard as fuck. <laughs> since 2019. Bro, when he. I lost in 2019. Right, when he raps, when he talks, when he fucking. He's on stage hyping the crowd and shit, man. He sounds the exact same at all times. <laughs> when he's mad, when he's. He's just yeah. either. A little bit louder or whatever, but yeah. he's always sounding like stroke. Bro, plug plug whatever you want to plug right now. You got to plug nothing. Whatever you want to shout out. Hey, man, y'all know what it is, man. Yeah, yeah you know. I got something period. to say. Yeah. Fucking podcast. Y'all keep fucking lo- logging in, block, watching this. Fireball's a motherfucker, yeah, boy. Yeah, man. Y'all so, keep vlogging in, talking in, lock a bopa. Logging in, blocking in. <laughs> stroke, real talk, bro. We're, we're, yeah. We love you, pull up. And you can pull up any fucking time you want. Your yeah, family, I love, bro. I love you, dog. We love sure. to piss out of you. Yeah, and yeah, those. Sure. Y'all stay tuned, man. 2022. Fuck yeah. Is, uh, you know, 2019, I dropped five albums in five different genres in one year. Charted top. God. In, you want to arm wrestle? Through eight. Let's and go. I love them. You're not 20, 2020, we fucking slapped them with everything that we could. 2021. We spent a little money. Yeah, 2021 yeah. was insane. We spent all the money. We spend yeah. all the money putting it back into the dream. Hey, 2022, yeah, man, Chatty getting the bag, bro. Yeah, 2022 is going to be it's gonna be incredible yeah, for we, everybody. We get in the bag this year. We've been through too much in the last two years to not succeed in 2022. Me and Chad are just trying to join the club, bro. Yeah, if, if you haven't, We're getting there, though. If you haven't learned what you need to learn to be successful over the course of this last couple of years, then, um, you know. This shit's, a, uh, this shit's been a movie. Yeah. Like, real talk, bro. I'm a... Uh, I will. I'm a, I want everybody to take note how me and Chad have encouraged the man to start writing now. Oh yeah. As far as struggles, thoughts. We didn't have to convince oh, him. No, he's he's yeah. a smart man. He's he, been doing that, dog. I don't he's know. Been doing Dude, that. I got I got I this book. Does. I got this, this crazy ass book. It's like uh, I found it on tour. It's like a leather bound book with these like weathered pages. Mm-hmm. And I've just been fucking writing like keep going. Yeah. That's how you have to write in that. You have to write in that book like that, bro. Yeah, and it's yeah. not no yeah. one or two years worth of content. You no, could write no. for one or two years just catching up to now. Let's yeah, let's no, go. I could write a book for almost every year of my life for the last twenty years. For like, sure. Well, you just you said that down. You right, said right, earlier right. in the in the it's podcast that. They were going to make a movie about his life before he even went in. Yeah, oh, yeah. That was exactly that was right. That was the seven. And that, we've also saying? we've that, also said on the podcast that I'm not going to say a majority or not even half, but there's a portion of your fan base that don't even know about that life. Bro. That's what I'm. Know. That's what I'm saying know. though. Like they, they were going to do that before this oh, portion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Struggle Jennings, man. I got some shit to say to pot. One of the realest ones I know, man. Yeah, For sure, dog. Appreciate uh, you pulling up. Please pull up again soon. Yeah, man. We'll drink more. Bring the no, bring bring, bring the wife. It, I'm bring I'm bringing the tequila next time. And bring Let's the wife. It. Bring we, the wife, and we'll bring the women in so on this one. D- 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 yeah, DD, <laughs> for sure. That, or y'all just stay here, man. We'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah, DD. Uh, shout out, Struggle Jennings, man. I'm a fucking fan. Uh, you know what I think we should do? I think go. we should do the next episode. Lightning bolt. Go at my bar in my house. Let's go, Let's we dude. Put, struggle inviting me to his house. I got get. I got a guest room. Let's do it. I'm there. We're gonna do a second week of January. Let's do it. I'm there. Let's do it. All right. Boom. I got yeah. something to say. I got six bar stools, so bring Lex, bring uh, bring my cousin Leroy. And, uh, <laughs> yes, I like dude. when you, I like when you say nephew. 
like yeah. that. Yeah, he's my cousin. But they're literally cousins, though. Yeah, we're first cousins. They're second first cousins. cousins. Second cousins. My yeah. Uncle Tadpole and his dad, Steve, are first cousins. Why you know, the what? fuck couldn't my name be Tadpole? <laughs> dude. I got stuck with Squints. Yeah, it was Tadpole. Squints is cool. The Tadpole is dope as dude, fuck, dude. He's the, he's the OG. Oh, no, my, no. He got Leroy's cut. definitely told me Tadpole stories, and they are oh, legit yeah. OG no, status, no, for sure. Great. He got custody of me when I was 16. Yep. Oh, I, dope. I don't know what, um, what, well, I know what happened. Uh, I was getting taken out of my mom's custody because I was wild as fuck, and they were finna send me to uh, Taft. Mm-hmm. And put it in the book. Yeah, it's going in the book. And then all of a sudden, it was literally like a movie. The door swings open. You hear these cowboy boots clicking through the front of the fucking courtroom, and it was Waylon. And he walked up, told the judge, and then we needed to talk to him. Went went in the back. Next thing I know, they were releasing me to my uncle Tadpole's custody. That's God, insane. Do you hear that? This is the what way. way that the There's Waylon Jennings said he just needs a father figure. Oh my God. <laughs> Shut up. Struggle Jennings, the best podcast. episode yet of I yeah, Got so, to Say the Podcast, so I, man. So I literally went from being a little gang banging thug with my mama to going and Tapo taught me how to really work the value of a mm-hmm. dollar and then taught me how to grow weed. Yeah. Then he caught a charge and came home grown man. Yeah. <laughs> caught a lot of them. A respectable one. Hell yeah, dude. We love you, Struggle. I love you, dog. Love Please you, pull up again yeah. soon. For sure. No, For y'all sure. are pulling up next time. No, we're pulling up. No, that's we're right. Bring, take out, we can take that roadcaster on the way wherever we need to go, bro. Yeah, we can. That's my It's yeah. nothing. It's easy. Mics and all. Yeah, we'll set that thing up. Uh, yeah, it's I Got Some Shit to Say to the podcast. Chat on TV. Struggle fucking Jennings, man. We'll see y'all soon. Oh. Bump, 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 bitch. We got views.